Hello. Today, we would like to introduce the pestle analysis of the shale gas industry in Europe. This is a variation of the original pest framework, by adding the legal and environmental factors for analyzing the macro environment of the European shale gas industry. In fact, the success of shale gas in the US has prompted companies to examine the possibilities of replicating the shale gas production and market in Europe. But in doing so, they face various difficulties including issues such as the different geology, the density of European population, the legal, fiscal and land use particularities and the service industry for onshore. To add to the difficulties, there is considerable environmental skepticism and opposition from lobby groups and media, regarding shale gas drilling in Europe. Hence, Ru and colleagues established a PESEL analysis in 2013, for a comprehensive assessment of risks of shale gas development in Europe. In which, they examined the most consequential risks for companies contemplating entry into the European shale gas market, by identifying six clusters of strategic risks, social, environmental, economic, regulatory, geopolitical, and technological ones. The study was implemented in three particular countries from the questionnaires, including, France, United Kingdom, and Poland. For each of the cluster and sub-cluster, the respondents were asked to answer one when they perceived low risks and six when they perceived very high risks for shale gas development in three countries. In case of France, the results indicate that, social risks are very high in France. There is considerable organized opposition to shale gas development at all levels of society, and within the government and various political parties. What is unclear, however, is the depth of opposition across the country writ large. Historically France possesses a preference for nuclear power generation. Concerning environmental risks, there is a high degree of urbanization, particularly in the Paris Basin. There are strong perceptions of environmental and safety hazards associated with hydraulic fracturing. Concerning economics risks, the ban imposed on shale gas activities remains in place and until it is overturned, economic risks will remain high. Concerning geopolitics risks, France currently imports 98% of its natural gas. Concerning technological risks, the government's ban currently limits extraction to vertical drilling slash no hydraulic fracturing, however, French companies are acquiring appropriate skills and experience outside France through JV slash partnering. And finally, concerning regulatory risks, there is no support so far from the French government. It is uncertain which direction the new government will take regarding shale gas development, based on its actions the first year in office. In case of United Kingdom, the results indicate that. Concerning social risks, though there is considerable vocal opposition to shale gas development, the UK's strong hydrocarbon economy will likely prevail over opponents' concerns. There is a medium level of public resistance. Concerning environmental risks, resiliency to serious shale incidents outside the UK. Concerns with earthquakes or environmental damage have increased over the past year, but likely will not prevent shale gas development, measures to mitigate concerns with seismic activity have already been introduced. Royal Society and Royal Academy of Engineering Review concluded that fracking can be effectively managed. Concerning economics risks, looking at LNG prices paid in the EU, it can be observed that in the UK, LNG imports continue to be attractively priced to hub traded gas and generally, natural gas demands are increasing. Concerning geopolitics risks, there is a need to diversify energy sources and enhance energy security, LNG imports have been increasing, with nearly all LNG coming from Qatar. Concerning technological risks, the UK has experienced natural gas extraction workforce, albeit mostly related to North Sea production and conventional onshore drilling. The UK has a strong gas-slash-oil partnering experience levels. And finally, Concerning regulatory risks, a strong hydrocarbon culture and regulatory framework exists. The government recently approved hydraulic fracturing in the UK. In case of Poland, the results indicate that. Concerning social risks, the public, if not supportive, 
does not appear strongly opposed to shale gas development. There is a high level of public resiliency to serious shale incidents outside Poland. Environmental risks concerns are primarily related to Polish government's desire to hasten development and emphasize local industry, perhaps even at the expense of partnering with experienced non-Polish companies. Economics risks are related to uncertainty over tax structure decisions. Growing pressures from some political parties for less foreign involvement and greater indigenous shale gas activities. Companies holding licenses in Poland to explore for shale gas extraction are generally moving ahead, despite ExxonMobil's recent decision to exit from shale gas exploration efforts in Poland. Concerning geopolitics risks, energy diversification has long been an issue of strategic importance for the Polish government, which wants to cut its dependence on imports of oil and gas from Russia. We perceive some significant technological risks since Poland lacks appropriate experience levels, relationships with foreign companies are very much needed in order to improve Polish technological skills and know-how. There is an uneven transportation and pipeline development across country, some regions have poorly developed infrastructure. And finally concerning regulatory risks, regulation formulation for extracting shale gas is in progress. There is a heavy bureaucracy, opaque and discretionary licensing regime. Support from government creates a propitious climate for investors. In general, according to the PESEL analysis, social risks often pose the greatest threat to shale gas development in Europe. France has significant reserves of shale gas but the current ban has stopped shale gas development in its tracks. The US Energy Information Administration estimates that, France has 5.1 trillion cubic meters of shale gas reserves. On June 30, 2011, France became the first country in Europe to impose a ban on hydraulic fracturing. The UK has a supportive hydrocarbon culture and strong hydrocarbon regulatory protocols, but endures the backlash of hydraulic fracturing caused seismic disturbances. The British Geological Survey estimates that the UK has 150 BCM of shale gas reserves, though a much needed, more definitive survey is planned to obtain more precise figures. Subsequent to the release of BGS estimates, Quadrilla Resources announced shale gas estimates of 5.7 TCM at its sites in northwest England, and iGas doubled estimates of reserves contained at its site in northwest England to 130 BCM. Finally, Poland may possess appreciable shale gas reserves, are supportive of shale gas development and they seek to cut Russian natural gas imports, but there is still significant political, tax, regulatory and business uncertainty for investors to consider. In fact, how the public perceives the impact of shale gas development on their welfare or their environment, is the most important factor in addressing social risks. Therefore, companies should not discount the potential risks, posed by social media or the need to anticipate opposition efforts to influence and expand their own stakeholder base. There are clear future opportunities, if proactive measures are taken today, to counter misperceptions and to address social and environmental impacts. Thanks for your views and subscription to HKT Consultant channel. See you in the next video.